Good morning guys. It has decided to be winter again in Arkansas. Um, not really sure what we're going to get up to today because the weather is kind of gross. So I have to treat the girls for lice today. So I know we're going to do that. Um, we've never really had a problem with lice until this year, but I have, I have the stuff to do it. And we're at least going to do my new my morning routine. I re reworked it from the last video, so it works a little bit better. So I'm excited to show you guys. Doggo. So I turned the heater on for us to get done, to get started milking, so it'll be a little bit warmer in here. It's about 37, 38 degrees outside right now, so it's kind of cold. So I'm going to get my milk stuff set up and feed the dog, the cat, and get Chief a bottle ready. So by now you guys have seen um, the new fencing, the new um, goat area, and the new gate and everything out of the back of the barn. So I'm gonna show you this morning how all that's working. And we've moved, I guess in the, um, we moved Chief over with the boys because last Saturday when we were working on the gate and um, he got out when I was moving the girls and it was easier to just put him in the boys' pasture and now that the cows, the little heifers, are out in the backyard in their own spot away from the boy goats, which I think they're really thankful for. Duke's standing by, <laughs> standing by the door, he wants to go out. Um, I think that's working out really well. So I don't have to worry about him while I'm moving all the goats in the morning and he has buddies during the day. And it'll also be good, um, again, just to get animals totally off this front, this front pasture for us. Um, I would love to have the boy goats and him out with the girls, but the boy goats, we have to run an extra line of electric fence for them specifically, if we do that. One that's like lower to the ground. So it's right at like their back height right now and so they kind of go under it and it's uh, and I think I talked about this in the fence video but the um it pulses so it's not like a continuous shock it's a pulse um so yeah um okay I gotta feed the dog and the cats real quick Okay, so everything's a little bit kind of in backward order from how I used to do things before I started milking and moving. Go, so, come on, Hankers. Hank. I oh, just have a cat in the barn. Um, so I kind of do everything in reverse order, I guess. So these guys are last. a little soggy this morning. Feed um, the boy goats and the heifers first. Then I'll feed the pigs and lock them out. And then we'll get milkers and milk. And then we'll move everybody at once out into the backyard pasture. It is really wet. It's not Today, but I really need to spray them for lice and I need to spray the barn for lice 
so I think they're gonna have to come out here at least for a little while. Sorry, it's a lot of things to carry. Um, so yeah, this has worked a lot better and it's a lot faster and it's a lot more efficient in general. Um, work, I've been working this week, sorry, I don't even know what I was gonna say. I've been working from home again this week and really trying to do better about getting in the house a little quicker. They're gonna make a decision next week about when or if we're gonna go back. Checking on my plants. I normally would not stop and do this right now, just said why I would do this in the afternoon, but um, we've got a couple of potatoes coming up in here, so two. We've got three coming up in here, which is exciting. And then, it's hard to tell, but there's some carrots sprouting in there. And I've got four garlics, five. So that's a new one, this one right there, that's new. Five garlic plants, so that's exciting. Gobbles eat, baby. I've been meaning to show you guys my seedlings that I've got in the house. The green beans need to come out. Um, but we've had such strange weather. And I guess I should kind of explain that. So this fence, let's see, closes up right here. Like I tuck it in that T-post. And then this one that I'm walking through obviously closes as well. But um, we try to let Duke have access to the porch and his doghouse at night. So that's why it's all open for him and for me in the mornings. Okay, so now we'll feed the pigs and lock them out. And I'm actually out of feed for the milkers in the barn. I'm gonna have to bring that out, fill it up. And I'm doing that today instead of yesterday, because today is Saturday. Instead of trying to do that when I'm trying to get back in the house to milk. I mean, for work. Ooh, my brain's a little slow today. Hank's in here. Hello, bud. He's looking for a nice warm towel to pull up, to curl up in. Good morning. Come on, Pickles. Don't knock me over. Come on, kid. Here, let's go over on the concrete today. Come on. I know breakfast is exciting. Come on, Piggle Wiggles. Come on, Piggle Wiggles. So they're doing good. Oh, I'm sorry, Tune. Only one spot today, babe. So they're just shutting this gate and locking them out. I do think I could probably make this work if I went back to work. Like, had to go to school. I usually get to school earlier than I have to and I probably would just get to work on time. But I definitely think I could get this down to about 30 minutes which is manageable. 45 is really not but that way I could get up at about 6 and be ready to leave the house by about if it was 6.15 probably and be ready to leave the house by about 7.15, 7.20 which would be the goal. Okay, I cannot carry the camera and do what I need to do. So I'll see you guys in a minute when we start milking. Uh, and I will explain how the gate works after we're done milking because it doesn't really come into play right now. Okay, so we're gonna try a little bit of a different angle for milking this morning. So I've sorted the four girls that are milking into the pasture behind the barn. Everybody else is waiting in the barn for breakfast is why it's so loud and noisy. 
So yeah, let's get milking done. Considering it rained most of the day yesterday, it's okay because they were not eating exactly as much as they typically would. And I've locked the skate back up so everybody else can't get in. Now it's hard to have gloves on because it's cold and it makes everything more of a challenge. Okay, for Zelda, just gotta go out there, check it out. Let's see, they are ready to go. I've got these losers who think because there's they know there's green in here because I feed the babies at night. So, yeah. Everybody's Pepper hasn't found mom. Pepper's mom's out here. Come on, Pepper! They about knock them over. It's just here's here's Nani. Poor Pepper. Still looking like hi. Oh, there's mom. There we go. Huckleberry, mom's in there. Yeah, so they all feed them. They all have plenty of milk that they've held back for these goobers. Huckleberry's confused. He's having a hard time finding his mom. Pepper had a bit of a struggle, but he'll find her. Yeah, she's in there. Yeah, there's mom. So, what we're gonna do is, since everybody's here behind this gate, I'm gonna close this gate. Oh no, Zelda's still over there. Everybody's behind this gate, so I'm gonna go get everything set up to move them, and then come back and get everybody. Basically, how this works is that I have those, um, just like the last time I showed you this, have these two pans, basically. I'll block off the barn, and I use these two, um, they're just lids from protein tubs. I just consistently put the food 
and these in the same spot. And see, they're just these big plastic lids. And I pick them up after they're done eating so they don't get poop all in them. So they stay relatively clean. Generally, I would lock the dog up. He doesn't look like he... And it's chilly, so he may chase them, which will be bad. Just playfully. So, so just set them out like this, and they're right inside this gate. And then I'm gonna block, I'm gonna get some grain, and I'm gonna block the barn off. Zelly, what are you doing? She's out there, so she's probably gonna cause trouble. So I'm gonna take this pallet and block this off so they don't go into the barn. And then we're gonna go and get them and see if they'll come out. I'm a little bit skeptical because it's raining. Link, Tink and Link that are So we're in the barn eating some leftover grain from the babies. So I had to go get them separately, but once they realized what was going on, they came to the right spot. So the last thing to do is to clean Chief's bottle and then we're done for the morning. And that finishes up kind of how that goes. And I'm lucky if the bottle stays in the bottle holder these days. He generally likes to kind of knock it off and then I have to reach in and get it and it's gross and dirty but I'm going to keep them in the small pen for now. Like I said I've got to spray them all for, for lice today and I have to spray the barn and that's why I really want them out here because we really need to probably spray every surface down in there and that just like lets it air out so they're not hanging out and all that it wouldn't necessarily hurt them that's what it's designed for but um and I have a cat in here right now that I've got to figure out how to get out put my coveralls back on because it is cold outside but I have the heater running in here it's about 50 degrees I never showed you guys we have a Duraflame heater that my brother-in-law gave us um, and it works really well as a shop heater since this building's not like super insulated. Um, we only really use it generally kind of to keep pipes from freezing. We don't have it turned on all the time during the winter, just when it gets below freezing to keep everything thawed and then like on days like today in March where it's cold, well it's April, where it's cold and I'm milking or we're in here working on a project and we'll turn it on. I guess permethrin concentrate and that's what we use and this is the concentrate so you, you mix it with water and you, it's a spray on. You can also use Ivermec, the wormer works for lice. Uh, we keep this for um, the cows for it's great for flies and so normally this time of year we've sprayed we've had a big flat a fly hatch and we've sprayed the barn completely down to get rid of the flies because of kidding and all of that uh, this year we haven't had a big fly hatch because it hasn't like been consistently warm it will get cold and then it's warm and it's cold it's warm um, but I'm going to mix this up according to the packaging and so it's kind of different but you'll just read the label and they have doses for, so we'll do one concentrate for spraying the animal and then it'll be a heavier concentrate to spray in the barn. And this is cows, this dogs, um, so beef and dairy cattle, horses, sheep, goats, swine, poultry, and dogs. And you can use in barns, dairies, milking parlors, feed feedlots, stables, kennels, and more. Um, I'm trying to think if it has a milk. It's a topical, and so I've never 
it, it does say to not spray it on milking lactating animals um, until they're done milking. Um, I think. So you can do it a couple of different ways. Um, you can do it on a back rubber if you want instead of spraying directly on them or spraying over the animal. And so it, it basically says oh, only after milk is completed because there's no studies on withdrawal time. So it's topical. We just kind of typically give it a week or two, um, which kind of stinks because we're getting milk and then I'm milking and I can't keep any of it. but it's the best way to treat the animal and to keep our milk production up. And so I skipped yesterday's milking. I didn't film yesterday, so there was no reason to tell you, but I had, it rained. So it was raining yesterday morning and they wouldn't come and stand out here if it's raining. And it's just not worth the fight to have to drag each one of them over here. Um, it would be great if we had a little shelter and I could just put them in. And when we design our next barn, we'll have that. The milking room will be in a situation where it's covered to come in and out so that we don't fight rain. But right now, because we have babies, I don't necessarily have to milk every day. It's better for produ production and consistency, um, but really <clears throat> they're doing fine given the amount of milk I can feel them holding back. Um, so I just let them out with the babies yesterday. I have meetings next week. I have a meeting at eight and I probably will just not milk that morning so that I can come out at 7.30, do about 15 minutes worth of activity, and then go back in to be ready for my meet. Um, and now that I'm gonna fly spray them, it won't matter that we're spraying for lice. We're gonna, this sprays in a spray bottle, and I'll show you my sprayer directly on the animal, and then we will spray the barn. And hopefully that will help with our lice, and we have to do it again in 14 days, I think is what it says, 14 to 21 days later for lice. Um, and they do recommend that you spray directly on the animal for lice. That's what we're treating. I've noticed lice on the babies and moms are starting to lose hair. So to treat it, you can also use Ivermec, which is a wormer and it will kill lice. We don't use that as a wormer. And I think we have up until this year used the Ivermec family as wormer. And so I think that's why I haven't really had trouble with lice. Now we're using the prohibit family. We're gonna struggle with lice. I think it's probably why Poppy can't put any weight on is probably not just worms, it's probably lice. So we're going to spray them and we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna mix this up and then I'll show you the jar, the jar, the sprayer. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Today ended up being kind of a yuck day outside. It's cold and it kind of missed a drain all day. So after, um, we just really didn't, we planned out the plans for the pig house and Jeremy went and cut the wood for it at his dad's house. And he's walking them back and forth right now, getting them ready to go. He's kind of like my herd. My herder so i'm gonna we're gonna put them up and feed chief and probably call it a night but i hope at least the lice information was helpful um for you guys and hopefully we'll get started on the pig house tomorrow and i'll be able to show you the plans and we'll get started and be able to show you guys that so yeah um we're gonna put these guys up here we go come on They've definitely learned the routine of how to go back and forth because Jeremy's like hurting them, but they're all beating me. So 
it's great it's working hey guys I hope you enjoyed this video and the information about the lice was helpful um, make sure to leave me a thumbs up if you like this video leave me a comment if there's something else you'd like to know about how we treated the goats for lice and make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell and we'll see you guys later